Hi everyone, welcome to our new channel, Emphasis. Today I will tell you more about sunspots. A sunspot is a dark spot in the photosphere that you can see on the sun. They usually come in pairs. The place where you see the spot is colder and rest of the sun. This difference in temperature gives it a dark look, but it really isn't that dark. It's 5,000 times brighter than the full moon. The sunspot has two parts, the umbra and the penumbra. Umbra means shadow on Latin. The umbra is the darkest part of the spot, the inside. The penumbra is the less dark part of the sunspot, the edge of the sunspot. Sunspots develop by the magnetic field of the sun that has a different rotation. Because at the equator of the sun, the sun needs 25 days to make a turn around its own axis. But the polar parts, it needs 30 days. Because of this distortion, there will appeal curled tubes, and they will puncture the sun's surface through the photosphere, the deepest layer of the atmosphere of the sun. Almost all of the light we see from the sun comes from the photosphere. And after the curled tubes puncture the photosphere, the matter will swing into the corona, an aura of plasma that surrounds the sun. It extends millions of kilometers into space. The easiest way to see the corona is during a total solar eclipse. It looks like a crown. After that, the space where the tubes punctured the photosphere will cool down, but it's still very hot, even if it isn't the same temperature as the rest of the sun. The sunspot is about 4,500 degrees, while the surroundings have a temperature of 6,000 degrees. This is nothing compared to the temperature of the center of the sun. It has a temperature of 15 million degrees Celsius. How many and how big the sunspots are depends on the activity of the sun. The sun has an 11 year solar cycle. The current solar cycle began on January 8, 2008. It's the 24th solar cycle since 1755. When the cycle begins, sunspots will appear at mid latitudes on the sun. And from then on, it will get closer to the equator until solar minimum is reached. That's the moment you won't see much sunspots for weeks. At solar maximum, you'll see hundreds of sunspots. When you see a big one, there are probably just a lot of them at one place. When you look at the sun with special techniques, what I'll discuss later, looking from the north, you might see some sunspots at the west side of the sun, and later, they might be moved to the east. This is because the sun turns around its own axis like a lot of other celestial bodies. They might also be gone because sun sunspots, especially small ones, don't last for long. Most sunspots reach the maximum size when they're 1 to 2 weeks old. From then on, the penumbra will take over the whole sunspot. They can range in size from 16 kilometers to 160,000 kilometers. The biggest sunspot recorded in our solar cycle is 80,000 miles across. You can fit 10 times the size of Earth across its diameter. The region is named AR2192. On this image from NASA, it can be seen on the lower center of the sun. But what kind of impact does sunspot have on the Earth? The little energy bursts, the charged particles, will produce from the sunspot. They are produced because the surface heats up and cools down. The sun will boil, and those energy bursts at the sunspot region will make the charged particles escape from the star into space. Some of those hurting particles of plasma, called solar winds, will get to Earth, and when those particles enter our atmosphere, they cause the northern lights. That's why the chances to see the northern lights are the highest in the years with a lot of sun activity. Solar flares are another phenomena that occur right before the formation of the sunspot, and they stay a while. The solar flare is a bright area on the sun. It's a bit brighter than the rest of the photosphere, because it has a higher temperature. Big groups of sunspots are always surrounded by solar flares. There are a lot of ways to look at the sun, but looking at it with the naked eye isn't one of them. The danger is obvious. Direct exposure can cause permanent damage to the eye, 
Side effects are loss of vision and even blindness. To observe the sun in a safe way, you need to filter out 99% of the sun's light before it can reach your eyes. There are different ways to look at the sun safely. If you want to watch a solar eclipse, you need special sunglasses. You can buy them online and it's an easy and cheap way to look at the sun with just a pair of sunglasses. And another way is making a projection of the sun. It isn't that hard to make, but it does require a bit of work. It is very dangerous to observe the sun through a telescope or binoculars, because the glasses will converge the light of the sun into one point. This makes it really easy to burn your eyes when you look at the sun. So you'll need to take a sheet of solar filter material and put it on the front end of the telescope. It works equally well on the binoculars. Now you can stare at the sun for hours. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked the video. Bye!